Hey guys, welcome to Allotronics, I'm Gregory. Today we're gonna talk about logarithm amplifiers. And I'm studying this topic because I think it's very interesting and I think we can make a logarithm amplifier using uh, CMOS amplifiers that I, I really love this kind of, of uh, ingenuity here of uh, CMOS linear amplifiers as I showed here in this video. So you can click here on the balloon to see my explanation of CMOS linear amplifiers. So this topology here uses cascaded amplifiers and amplifiers that has a precise and controlled clipping voltage. And when we use them in a cascade fashion like this one here, we can uh, get a, a logarithm a proportional output that is proportional to the input voltage. And this is very interesting. Let's try to understand. Here's the original link of uh, this image here. It's from an analog uh, article. Very interesting. I, can, I will link here in the uh, description of the video. And what we can see here, guys, there you have here five amplifiers with 20 dB each that are in a cascaded range here and we have a summing block here let me pick here the pencil we have a summing block here that sums all the outputs of each stage here here the outputs are passing uh, through a detector here because this is a detector a logarithm detector but let's think that this goes directly to the summing block here each output of each stage direct direct to the uh, summing block here this is the output or log um, or log output let's see how this works so guys let's think that let's think that if we have here a really small signal really small signal this amplifier will amplify the signal with 20 dB. So here the signal will be 20 dB higher. The next amplifier will be 20 dB higher, 20 dB higher, okay. So here we have 100 dB gain, total gain. If the signal is very small, neither, neither of these amplifiers here will, be, will clip because the signal will be in range, in the range of the amplifier. Here in this example here is one volt, so the amplifier clips with one volt. In this example here, we have a larger signal. So we can see that we have a larger signal. The first amplifier, here's the input, here's the output of the first amplifier. The first amplifier is working in the linear region. No problem, no clipping here. The larger signal of the first amplifier get amplified by the second amplifier and here we have a, a larger signal here in linear region normal operation of a linear amplifier but here on the input of the third stage here this is the third stage the signal is very large so we, ha we have a very large signal here and this amplifier get clipped the output clips because the output tries to exceed the maximum output voltage or the radio, uh, uh, the supply voltage of the amplifier. So the output will be clipped. All the other stages, the fourth stage, the fifth stage here, will be also clipped. Because the amplifiers cannot amplify any more, any more than uh, the output maximum voltage. So here we have two stages in linear operation and three stages in clipped mode. The clipped uh, stages will have only a constant contribu contribution to the summing block, one volt each. And the first two stages here will, be, will have a linear contribution proportional to the input voltage. Okay, so here we have two amplifiers in linear region and three amplifiers in clipped mode. So we can imagine that in, in the output, we have something like three volts, because you have one plus one plus one volts, 
and here you have a small linear contribution. The total linear gain of this stage here with this signal is 40 dB because we have two linear amplifiers. The other amplifiers are not doing any amplification. If we have an even large signal, maybe this signal here, we will clip four amplifiers and only one amplifier will be working in linear region. So now the contribution to the summing block is four volts because you have one plus one plus one plus one, four volts here and a small linear contribution. So now with a larger signal we have four volts at the output because we have four amplifiers on clipping mode. So what you can see here is that for smaller, for small signals, very small signals, we have more gain because you have more amplifiers on linear region. And for large signals, we have a smaller gain because you have uh, less, amplifiers, less amplifiers in linear region. We can think in this example here that at each 20 dB increment of input voltage, we get more one amplifier in clipped mode. So more one volt contribution to the summing block. So each 20 dB of input in this example here will be more one volt in the output because, we, because we're gonna have more one stage that's clipped. And here I have a simulation that I'm doing here to try to understand and get uh, the working principle here to try to, to design a circuit uh, in the next video. And what I have here is an input signal that here I have in the x-axis I have uh, uh, the input signal and at the output here, the input signal. So we have a linear relation, relationship uh, between the, the same signal here, obviously. So this is the signal here. Let's see the, uh, the output of the first stage. This is the, the blue here is the first stage. It's an amplified version, version of the same signal. The second stage is here. We have even more gain. More gain here. The third stage, more gain. The slope of this line here is uh, 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 higher. We can see that the gain, because we have three stages in linear operation. The fourth stage here is clipping. We can see that this stage is clipping. The next stage will clip also, and the third stage also will clip. So we can see that after the clipping voltage, each stage will make only a constant contribution. And here, when we sum all the outputs of each stage, we can see that we have a log, a kind of log waveform that is made by each part, because each stage here, here you can see for very small signals, all the stages are doing linear gain. So we have a very uh, high slope here. And the slope here is, uh, I think, is the sum of all the slopes of all the, the curves because you have linear gain of all amplifiers. When the first stage clips here, the output drops. Now the gain, the slope is, is lower, is, is lower here. When the second, the next stage clips, the slope gets lower, even lower. Now the gain is smaller. And here, when the last stage clips, we have less gain. So we have this log curve at the output. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Very, this is a very clever design. Here I made um, a supply that can supply a log waveform. So this is the truly log version of the input. Okay, this is the truly version, uh, log version of the input voltage. Let's put this uh, log version in the x-axis. 
So here you can have V in, in DBE. Now it becomes a linear because you have log and log. And now let's see the output in, in respect to the perfect uh, logarithm curve. The perfect expected logarithm curve. And we can see that you have almost a linear response. So this shows us that this can really uh, uh, make a log output and we can see that we have uh, the log made in small parts is a piecewise logarithm output and he, each uh, uh, kini here of the the log output is more one stage going to in saturation we can see here all the stages here is all the voltage of all stages and here the output voltage and we can see that in between saturation points we have a kind of a, an error so the error here has a, a hippo yeah and this is truly interesting truly interesting I think we can design using a CMOS inverter 748C04 that has six inverters we can make a really nice uh, a log amplifier and I'll try that on the next video here you have some parameters so here we have 8 dB of gain in each stage so we get this output and we can tweak these values here to get uh, the linear region of operation uh, more close to the linear region we uh, need on the application we want so this kind of circuit is very important important for uh, spectrum analyzers uh, radar systems echo detection because um, we need a logarithm amplification of echo signals to reconstruct the signal and I hope you enjoyed this explanation here of logarithm amplifiers and in the next video I don't know if you'll be the next, but uh, in the in the near future, future I will try to make um, this kind of circuit here, a logarithm amplifier using CMOS. And leave in the in, leave in the comments your ideas and what you think about this uh, topic here and this topology. So see you in the next video.